often have people ask me what the uranium glass room looks like during the daytime. And during the day, the room actually gets pretty bright. Both of my main curio cabinets are set up to have both black lights and regular daytime lights. This is what the Vaseline glass cabinet looks like in regular light. It's actually been a pretty long time since I've dusted and reorganized this cabinet. And since I've added a few more pieces, I think it's almost time to start rearranging. So this will be a nice way to document how the shelves looked before, and eventually I'll update you guys with how everything looks after. I've also had a lot of people ask me what the bottom of the Vaseline glass shelf looks like. This is where I primarily keep my cadmium glass and some other odds and ends. In my opinion, this is the shelf that definitely needs the most work. Then this is what the regular uranium glass cabinet looks like in the daytime. I do have one black light bulb in the top shelf, which helps to illuminate the glass slightly during the day. But this cabinet is where I primarily keep my green uranium glass, as well as some of my custard glass. There are a few other odds and ends lurking, like these animal figures that I thought added a nice contrast to the glowing green glass. And even though Vaseline glass has become my favorite type of uranium glass to find, my heart will always have a special place for the green glass. And while there really isn't much of a rhyme or reason to how I organize my glassware, the bottom of this curio cabinet is primarily dedicated to kitchenware items. I also have one more small curio cabinet with some miscellaneous glassware pieces in it. Unfortunately, this is not set up with any daytime lights, but this is actually where my first pieces of uranium glass are. Down below is where most of my satin uranium glass pieces live, along with a few other miscellaneous items. And of course, I have to have some spooky things in the mix, like this deer skull that I found and this glow-in-the-dark skeleton a friend of mine made. On the very bottom shelf, I have some more drinkware and my one and only bridal bowl. And then, of course, in the jewelry case, we have a bunch of uranium glass jewelry. This is pretty much every piece of uranium glass jewelry that I've bought in the last three years. There are two other shelves in the uranium glass room that have a few more pieces on them. These are pieces that I couldn't find a place for in any of my curio cabinets. Hopefully when I reorganize, I'll be able to fit some of these inside. But for now, they're hanging out over here along with the fluorescent minerals that I've collected from the Franklin Hill Mineral Museum. And this is what the last shelf looks like in the uranium glass room. The top shelf is where I have an electrified whale oil lamp, my Yadro figures, and another oil lamp. And the middle is where I have some more creepy items that definitely need to be dusted. And then last but not least, we have a set of uranium glass berry bowls and a few radioactive tipping glasses. Let me know if there's anything that you'd like a closer look at. Otherwise, thanks for watching and happy hunting!